Hey, it's me, Hannah. You're not ready for this. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Today, I'm starting a cosplay project that requires fawn legs or satyr legs. The first page of Google was not very helpful in determining the difference between fawns and satyrs, but the characters I'm interested in cosplaying with these goat legs identify as fawns. So that's what we're going with. This is going to be like my first big cosplay project and I can't even tell you how excited I am. A friend of mine is hosting a production event in a few weeks, so I've got an actual deadline and I'm gonna spend the next two videos preparing for that event. So welcome to part one of Hannah's Cosplay Fontent. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out the shape of the legs. I have some leftover cushion foam that I'm going to use to add volumes to my calves and my quads to give myself more of an appearance of animal legs that bend in the opposite direction because my legs don't do that. And then I'm going to use the duct tape method again to draft a pattern for the legs, which I will then cut out in faux fur and shave down to look like goat legs. Uh, this pattern will be available on my website if you are also interested in becoming a goat person. I've developed a strategy after watching a few other creators make their own fawn legs, and I'm kind of combining a few of their ideas to make a plan, but it feels like I'm still winging this. Let's see how it goes. That was somewhat claustrophobic. I've never broken a bone, but I imagine that that is what it feels like to have a cast cut off and I, what a relief. <laughs> so I'm kind of concerned that I maybe duct taped around my, my leg and the foam a little too tight and kind of compressed the foam. So I lost a little bit of the volume. I'm not gonna do that again, that sucked. So what I'm going to do is transfer this pattern to some tracing paper with about a one to one and a half inch seam allowance, just so I have a little extra wiggle room. This is not a perfect science. This doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanna get it good enough. The fabric is a faux fur, so I think that's gonna be pretty forgiving and this pattern is not going to be super technical. I was sure to add darts across the most voluptuous parts of the leg. I think we're gonna be able to use this. Let's see. Let's transfer this to some tracing paper. Thank you. 
I can't even tell you how excited I am with how these turned out. Right off the bat, I gotta say, these are 
very warm. But that said, I'm very happy with the fur choice I made. I'm happy with the decision to kind of trim down some of the, the fur as well. It just gives it more of a like dynamic, presumably natural look. The hair on goat's legs, it's not all the same length. So I think it just kind of makes sense to have some slight variation there. So I'm happy with that decision. I'm not done with the heels yet. I think that that will kind of force a little bit more of a knee bend and make it look even more animal. But I'm gonna worry about all of that in part two. In part two, I will be finishing the hooves. I will be making sure that there's kind of a seamless transition from the leg down to the hoof as best I can. And I will also be putting together and preparing for and attending a production event where I will be portraying a certain character, a certain fawn character. I left you a little Easter egg in the video. So if you saw the character that I plan to portray, in any of my clips from before let me know drop a comment and if you had as much fun as i did it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe and if you do i will see you in two weeks for part two of hannah's cosplay content take care mm -hmm.